Scotland is so much more than its majestic metropolises, and there's no better way to get a sense of the nation than through its countryside. Castles pepper the sprawling landscapes, villages split off from one another by snow-capped mountains, and the clear glass waters shimmers off the lochs. Each town with its own history, and it's in Aberfeldy where actor Alan Cummings' own personal history begins. Enter Alan's mom. So Mary, what was he like as a boy? Did you know immediately that he was going to be a world-famous movie star? No, but he knew. Oh, my God, this is mortifying. <laughs> the day Alan was christened, as we came out of the church, the minister said, a model child. I never heard that expression again, <laughs> mind you. Supermodel child. Thank you. <laughs> Located in Perthshire, the gateway to the Highlands, with a population of less than 2,000, Aberfeldy proudly comes equipped with all you'd ever need. I think you should just go and explore it for yourself. And it stopped raining. It is a very quaint town. Beautiful, isn't it? And in it, you'll discover the tailored tweed designs of Haggarts. I love the smell of the tweed. The smell of the highlands. This would be the Sherlock? That's the Sherlock, yes. It's good for fighting crime. There's the 100-seat state-of-the-art Burke Cinema that Alan was instrumental in restoring. I would never expect this small town to have such a beautiful movie theater. <laughs> Extraordinary. Well, it's new, spanking new. Years and years ago, it was a movie theater. It became an amusement arcade for a while. Amusement arcade. Mm -hmm. Then it's sort of empty. Yes, it lay derelict for a while. Because of that, they said, would you be the patron trying to get the cinema reopened? And then eventually got some money from the distillery and mm -hmm. from the government. And yeah. all of a sudden, it was, it was Open. And then there's the market selling the Scottish farm-to-table produce that'll become our lunch. We're getting onions. Ginger or peppers, anything from up here? All of them. All right. Some parsley. Oh, okay. Um, we need carrots from the ground. That's how you know they're fresh, right? And they're covered in dirt. <laughs> That's right. Some tomatoes. So this is all grown locally? Smell it. Ah. And so I think that's it. With our fresh produce in hand, we're headed to the heart of the mountains to make our feast, with a little help from Highland Safaris. Good news, Alan, I can drive stick. Oh, good. Bad news is I don't know if I can do this whole driving on the opposite side of the road thing. There's a car there, man. I see it, yep. Oh, don't get wet. Chill wiper. Oh, my God. Don't be scared, Alan. I am. I am scared. Oops. This is not even off-road yet. But when the pavement turns to dirt... George, George, stop the car. OK. This is an intervention. My nerves can't handle it, George. All right. Our lives are in your hands. <laughs> so where are we right now? This is the forest of tea. The forest of tea? Tea. Tea? Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Stunning. For these are my mountains, and this is my glen. Scottish song. And when we reach our destination, perched atop the highland summit. Let's cook. Are you ready? We find our kitchen a rustic wooden bothy, and our chef, the Michelin-commended Tom Lewis. Great to see you guys. Cheers. Great to see you, Sanj. So Tom, what are we making? Scotch broth. The thing about soup, it's all about the base. So we've got cumin here, we've got fennel, we've got coriander seeds, mustard seeds. And what we're just going to do, we're just going to toast these off a little bit. So when they start popping, just give a little shake. Almost like a licorice smell coming yeah, out of there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We chop up an onion. We want to sweat them down nice and lightly and get all that flavor out of them. Toss them in a pot with the toasted spice and diced carrots. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And another nip of whiskey for good measure. Ah, oh, that's better. That definitely helped with the crying from the onions. Yeah. Besides haggis, fish and chips. Which are all great, by the way. Oh, delicious. Okay. Agreed. What is Scottish cuisine? The one thing Scotland has done is fallen back in love with itself. I think that, that has been the greatest shift in Scottish yeah, food. Yeah, in the last uh, two decades. Yeah, and it's our raw ingredients, yeah. which is so good. Yeah. And to those ingredients, we add two fistfuls of barley, we cover the mixture with water, and then we wait. And as the sun sets behind the evergreens, our Scottish vegetable and barley broth is ready to serve. It's really thickened up nicely. Mm. All right, so Tom, for us, the carnivores, how is our broth going to be different than Alan's? We're going to put this fantastic venison in there. Look, it's just all oh, yeah. starting to fall off the bone here. Oh, that's what I like it. So delicious. It's very hearty, and it just warms you from the inside out. Mm-hmm. You got the yeah, coriander you got, seeds. You can yeah. really taste it. Right, with the seeds and the. Did you put peppers in there? Or, yeah, uh, a little bit, of, little bit of chili. A little chili. Yeah. It's, it's mud. Yeah. Just, just enough. Just enough. I would live on soup actually if I could. I think the company, the location, makes this bowl of soup absolutely perfect. That's what it was made. <laughs> that was a good sign. 
Okay, yeah, yeah.